Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebies of the Week. Now I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they are short and sweet and to the point, but if you know that you need more practice, I definitely encourage you to check out Taken on the Best at McCarthyMathAcademy.com. The focus for our freebie this week is, drum roll, Equation Editor. Let's not waste any more time, no, no, let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, third grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own first. Then when you're ready, come on back and we'll check your work. All right, third grade, welcome back. So here is your problem. It says that Damon wrote an equation, which means that there is an equal sign, and there is right here, right, wrote an equation on his paper as shown below. What is the value? The question says, here's what we're answering. What is the value of the unknown number that we will call n? And n is right here. So we just need to answer what is the value? What is the amount that n is representing? Okay, so I'm seeing the equation two equals n divided by four. Two equals n divided by four. We need to figure out what number n stands for. So really we're thinking what number divided by four equals two. It can also be written as this, n divided by four equals what number? And there's something that I know and that is that multiplication and division are inverse operations, which means just like adding and subtracting, they're like the opposites of each other, so are multiplication and division. So if I just go backwards and I say two times four equals what total, that should give me my answer right there. So two times four should equal n. What is two times four? Eight, right? Two times four equals eight. So let's go back and check and just plug in eight to make sure that it makes sense. Two equals eight divided by four. Let's see if that makes sense. We wanna make sure this is an equation, so both sides of the equal sign need to contain the same value. On this side, we have the value of two. On the other side, we have eight divided by four, which equals what? Two. So on the left side, we have two, and on the right side, we have two, so we do have a balanced equation. And the question said, what is the value of the unknown number n? And n equals how much? Eight, that's right. So if this were the equation editor tool right here, we would just tap that eight button in order to input your answer eight right there. And that is how you solve this problem. So if you need to record any notes still onto your paper, pause the video, and then let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grownups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. <laughs> Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. So make sure that if you really want something, if you want to get better, stronger, more confident with something, you've got to put in time to practice and you've got to throw down your very best effort. I believe in you and I will see you next time, world changers.